exchange from alveoli to capillaries. How does the gaseous exchange takes place between alveoli and the blood capillaries? So we have seen that the air enters from nostrils to last part is alveoli. Now alveoli is rich in air. Okay, it exchange from alveoli the air enters into the blood means the oxygen present in the air enters into the blood. From blood what will be given to the alveoli carbon dioxide. So blood brings the carbon dioxide from all the body parts and give it to the alveoli. And the oxygen from the alveoli is taken to the taken by the blood. So how this process happens? So if imagine the lungs, lung, inside the lungs the bronchi is, is divided into bronchioles and bronchioles have so many alveoli. So, so many alveoli, millions of alveoli are there. Okay. So, they are very small because to in less space to accommodate more. To accommodate to do more gases exchange. They are very small and they are very highly folded. Okay. So, so alveoli are present inside the lungs. Where the gases exchange takes place. Now alveoli are covered by blood capillaries. So each alveoli are covered by blood capillaries. Now if you see this is the structure of alveoli. This is one alveoli. This is bronchiole. Bronchiole. This part is bronchiole. And if this is the alveoli. The small air great like structure which we call it as a um, broad alveoli. So if you see the structure of alveoli, alveoli are very thin wall, only single layer. They are made up of single layer cell wall. Like not cell wall, they are made up of single layer. Means the cell membrane is made up of single layer. Okay. So alveoli are single membrane. Hmm? Now they are surrounded by num they are surrounded by blood capillaries. Even the blood capillaries are also single membrane. The cell wall, uh, sorry, the cell membrane is made up of single layer of uh, single membrane. Hmm? Okay, the cell membrane is made up of single layer of cells. Okay, even the alveoli is the cell membrane is made up of. The cell membrane is very thin and it is made up of single layer of cells. Okay. Now, what happens? Now, the air is filled in the alveoli. The air is filled in the alveoli. Now, the alveoli has air in it. If this air has oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, everything in this. Now, what happens? The blood capillaries are surrounding the alveoli, which are also single membrane. Now, in blood capillaries, the RBLC cells will be floating. RBC cells will be flowing. Now, these RBC cells will be bringing carbon dioxide. These RBC cells will be bringing carbon dioxide from the tissues, from different tissues of the body part. If you imagine, imagine just, so these, the RBC, the blood capillaries are surrounding the alveoli. Now this blood cap inside the blood cap list, the blood is flowing. The blood consists of RBC cells. So these RBC cells are coming with carbon dioxide. Now they will come to the alveoli. Alveoli. Now they are dark reddish, brownish color. So they are because they are filled with carbon dioxide, they are much darker or blue like uh, bluish uh, like brownish color so brownish color this brownish blood which has a carbon dioxide the rbc has no carbon dioxide so the blood is brownish red in color is flowing into the capillaries when it comes to the alveoli because alveoli are surrounded by capillaries now the alveol this carbon dioxide is given to the this carbon dioxide is given to the alveoli and the oxygen which is present in the air mixture is taken. RBC, the hemoglobin present in the RBC has 
very high affinity to combine with to attract with the oxygen. So hemoglobin is present in the RBC. We know that. So hemoglobin has very high attraction with the oxygen. It likes oxygen very much. So wherever oxygen is available, it binds immediately with it. So the oxygen is available here. So the oxygen will be um, crossing the single membrane of the alveoli and it comes to the uh, RBC in which hemoglobin is present and it will react with the hemoglobin. And the RBC which are reddish brown in color now changes to bright red color because carbon dioxide has already been given to the alveoli and now the RBC has taken the oxygen. Okay. So, see. So, let me explain still more clearly. From body parts, the blood will be reaching to the heart. The blood will be reaching to the heart. Okay. This is deoxygenated blood. Means carbon dioxide rich blood. You will call it as deoxygenated blood. Means oxygen is not there. Oxygenated blood. Okay. Deoxygenated blood from body parts, from my legs, from my hands, from my stomach. All the deoxygenated blood means the blood containing carbon dioxide reaches my heart. From heart, it reaches to the lungs. Where from lung as well to alveoli. Okay. From heart, it is reaching to the lungs. Means where to the alveoli. So this is our alveoli. These alveoli are surrounded by blood capillaries. Now the deoxygenated blood is flowing nearby the alveoli. So what happens? The air which is present in the alveoli crosses the single membrane of the alveoli and reaches the blood vessel. So whenever the oxygen is coming like this, the oxygen is taken by the hemoglobin present in the RBC and carbon dioxide is given up. Okay, carbon dioxide rich blood is coming. It is which color? Reddish brown in color. Now, while it is flowing like this, it will give the carbon dioxide. It will leave the carbon dioxide and it will be flowing like this. So, whenever the oxygen is coming, it immediately binds with the oxygen and becomes bright red in color. I will show you the slide actually on in the online class. I will show you the um, like uh, one video where you can understand clearly. So now the oxygenated blood, what happens now? RBC is oxygenated, blood is oxygenated. Again it reaches to the heart, from heart it is pumped to the different organs. It is different organs. Okay? It is from heart it reaches to the different organs of the body. This is about the gases exchange. I will once again explain. See, manaki body parts ninchi, body parts lemo to the carbon dioxide onto the cells. Pani ches kuni carbon dioxide ni release ches. So, carbon dioxide never tis kusna, blood tis kusna. Ekar ki first heart blood tis kusna. Heart ninchi, blood deoxygenated blood and carbon dioxide rich blood. Reaches lungs. Lungs like that, the alveoli like it reach out. Alveoli they are covered with blood vessels. Alveoli chuttu chala blood vessels unte. So if the alveoli lo man air unte, air lo man ki mixture of gases ke the carbon dioxide unte, the oxygen unte, the nitrogen unte dekha. So inka chala gases unte hi. So we will discuss only these three. So, it is oxygen carbon in a diffuse of the okay? because it is a thin membrane. Alveoli is made up of single membrane of cells. So, air is a diffuse of the okay? Diffuse is a diffuse blood capillaries, blood RBC cells, blood deoxygenated blood is okay? Carbon dioxide diffuse of the okay? Carbon dioxide is a diffuse of the okay? Carbon dioxide is this is the RBC cell changes. Carbon dioxide is 
वस्तु इध सिंगि मेम्रेन का कॉबन डयाक्सइड ईजी क्रॉस इकड़ की वे इकड आक्सीजन एपड़ती आक्सीजन दरकता अगर आक्सीजन तीसको कॉबन डयाक्सइड वे आक्सीजन इकड़े आरबीसी कॉबन डयाक्सइड वे आक्सीजन तीसबन डयाक्सइड इध सिंगि मेम्रेन का क्रॉस आलो सो आक्सीजन वाँव ब्लड ब्लड कैपलरी आरबीसी से तीसरे कैपलरी आरबीसी से कॉबन डयाक्सइड आलो इकडनी कॉबन डयाक्सइड अवटेपत एग्जलेषन द्वारा यह आक्सीजन उ ब्लड मैं हार्ट के हार्ट नीचे डिफरेंट पार्ट आफ द आर्गन के दिस् द एक्सचे आफ गैस बिटवी आलोल अंड द ब्लड ओके Here I will show you the video in the Zoom class. You can then clearly understand still. So very simple. I will say single membrane. So easily the gases can exchange. So it is surrounded by the blood capillaries. Now deoxygenated is blood is flowing in the blood capillary. So the carbon dioxide is given to the alveoli by the RBC cells, and oxygen is taken. सो वे एवर इट फैंस हिमोग्लोबिंग की आक्सीजन तो कंबाइन अट्राशन कैपासीटी चाल उन्मा कंपेर्ड टू कॉबन डयाक्सइड सो एपड़ आक्सीजन दो अद कॉबन डयाक्सइड वे आक्सीजन तस्को सो दिस् कॉबन डयाक्सइड डिफ्यूज इंटू आलोल अंड फ्रम देर इट इस सैंट ओके दिस्ज अबउट गैस एक्सचे बिटवी आलोल अंड दंग्स नौ इफ यू सी द टेबलेट कॉलम मैं टेबलेट कॉलम इज गिवेन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड जस्ट ड्रॉ दैट गैस परसेंटेज ऑफ इंजेल एयर परसेंटेज ऑफ एक्सेल एयर Of carbon dioxide, so it is very less when you are taking air. 
the air contains very less carbon dioxide when you are inhaling. But when you are exhaling, it is 4.4. Why this much drastic difference? Because the cells will be utilizing the oxygen and they will doing some activities. They will doing some work. To, they will produce. It. They are producing energy. While producing energy, carbon dioxide is released inside the cells. Okay, that carbon dioxide is carried by the blood and given to the lungs and it is ex exhaled. So that's why though you are inhaling very less amount of carbon dioxide, the exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide because this carbon dioxide is produced within your cells due to different activities carried by the cell organelles. This carbon dioxide is harmful to the cells, so it should be removed outside. So the carbon dioxide is given to the blood and the blood brings the carbon dioxide to your alveoli. From alveoli, it is sent out to, to the atmosphere. So nitrogen, we don't need any nitrogen for our activities. We don't need for nitrogen for our respiration okay so how much is inhaled that much is all that much is exhaled because nitrogen is not utilized by cells for uh, energy building uh, means nitrogen is not needed to um, produce energy so how much percentage of nitrogen is inhaled that much is exhaled so last class we have already seen that lung can inhale almost 5800 ml of air 5800 ml of air during rest time we are inhaling and exhaling 500 ml of air during when we are not doing any activity then you are inhaling and exhaling almost 500 ml of air but though after after you exhale also as said I told, it's all wrong, it's not 120, it's 1200, okay? 1200 ml of air after exhalation also, after complete exhalation also, still 1200 ml of air is remained in the lungs, okay? 1200 ml of air is remained in the lungs. The lung capacity is 5800 5, ml. So lung can take 5,800 ml of air. After exhalation also, still 1,200 ml air is remained in the lungs. Because this air helps to prevent lungs from collapsing. Okay? So this air prevents the lungs from collapsing. Okay? So this is about gases exchange uh, between alveoli and the blood so next class we will see transport of gases now now the blood has blood and the oxygen has came to the blood how the blood transport that is we will study about hemoglobin how the hemoglobin reacts with uh, oxygen and how uh, oxygen hemoglobin is formed, how it will give to the cells. Okay, thank you.